morning and welcome back to Family Farms. Um, I'm just out here checking on a couple plants. Initially, I came out here to bring our trash to the curb. Uh, it's our trash pickup day, so I wanted to get that out here. <laughs> that way we, we didn't miss it, which we have before. Just once, surprisingly. Just once. Um, but, like, I always bring it out the morning of. And one time I just wasn't early enough and I missed it. But, anyways... Uh, I showed you the peonies uh, down here. No flowers, and they won't this year, but next year hopefully we should have a couple flowers. But everyone's looking great and doing healthy. But I just noticed something else, so let's go take a look at that. So when we brought this home, all of the flowers looked like this. But, look! She's getting some color and the buds are opening. How exciting! Oh, I hope this one survives. We're going to try really, really, really hard. I don't know if it was the soil last year, if it was my fault, if it was the plant, what happened. But so far, she's doing great, and I'm really excited. So hopefully we'll get some nice, big, beautiful blooms and get to enjoy her all summer long. I messed up what I was out here doing after I took up the trash. I had swept this walkway because mulch was all in here from rain and us going in and out of the bed for various things. But I tried to sweep and clean this up. We absolutely need to mow. I mean, look at this, but how can you want to get rid of these pretty flowers? And a lot of them are butted up and they're just so little. So we're trying our best to give them the opportunity to bloom they are taking their time. Wow. Uh, but the white clover is doing great. So, I mean, we've brought in pollinators doing that. And let me show you the benefits of those pollinators coming in. All right, I got to get down here real low. But look, we've got tomatoes. We actually have some more on this one, too. Everyone's looking fabulous. So I'm super excited. These are cherry babies. I thought this one was going to be a Cherokee purple too. Um, but not everything got labeled right. So this one, this one, and the one beside it are all three cherry babies. Which, if y'all are following along, I pruned these. But look at this. Look, I have pruned this. Multiple times I've actually come down here and cut off pieces and they just keep going back. It is loving life and that makes me very happy that it's enjoying itself. Uh, none of our larger tomatoes have got actual fruit yet, but look at these flowers. Ah, we're going to have fruit soon. Something actually topped this plant. It, I don't know what happened, but there is a secondary stem there, so I'll let that be the leader. I'm for being such an overcast day, that little bit of sun is really hurting my eyes. Wow. Um, anyways, the goal for today's video is to actually properly top dress some of my plants. If you followed along, you saw a couple videos back that I went to top dress some plants and I grabbed the wrong bag. I wasn't thinking. I didn't look. I was just like, I have a task. I need to do it. I have a task I need to do it so I grabbed a bag I put the soil out and I put garden soil and not compost on them so we have to redo that and I want to do that because these sunflowers they want to grow and they want to just explode but I think they need some fertilizer so let's you know get to it and feed these guys so that way they can grow and live their best life compost it's garden soil which garden soil that we're not using for food this is what we use for plants um, but I had another bag which I guess we went through them all of garden soil from a more local place Oi. 
let's top dress this. We're gonna pull away the mulch. Just a little bit here. And then we're gonna get a handful of this and put it around the plants. And that's what we're gonna do with pretty much everything. So I'm just gonna set up the camera and let it record while I go through and get everything top dressed. So enjoy. Okay, so everything in the in-ground bed has been top dressed. I got all of the tomatoes here. Um, and then we have three peppers that are in here as well. These two uh, look pretty rough, but nothing else seems to be having any problems. So, I mean, if this is going to be my trap for any disease or pest, then like, let's let it be. I mean, as long as everything else stays healthy, we'll just let those track all attract all of the problems uh, I mean this one does have this one weird leaf but I they looked a little bit rough when we bought them uh, maybe a little dehydrated it has a flower on it and that's new since we put it in the ground so I think it's fine it's just recovering from a little bit of stress and like the other two are doing good there's a, even another flower on that one it's all good, so. We still have to top dress the stuff out by the mailbox. And then I'm probably gonna save the hollyhocks uh, getting top dressed for my husband because that was just really difficult for me to get back in there and do that. And he seemed to have an easier time. So I'm gonna let him manage that. I mean, since it's flowers, I might just, um do some of the miracle girl pelletized fertilizer that i have and just sprinkle it in that area um because it it's sectioned off like there wouldn't be any rainwater down to the food uh area like that's just flour and then into the yard so i might use that there just so i don't have to try to climb over and under fences and whatnot but Let's finish this off. I'm not looking forward to carrying that bag and that's why I'm kind of putting this off. I dressed pretty and I know some of you are thinking, why in the world are you dressed like that when you know you're going to be dealing with compost? I wanted to feel pretty outside of my garden, so I wore it. If it gets dirty, I wash it. Whatever. Not a big deal. But I got to get this done because we still have to go to the grocery store and pick up a couple things because the garden's not producing fully yet. Oh, we're so close to not needing to go to the grocery store for vegetables and I just can't wait. I'm so excited.
All right, so we got everything top dressed. I did a couple extra things after I'd already put the camera away. Um, I forgot about our clematis and butterfly bush that's just inside the fence. So I went ahead and took care of those. Um, one thing I do want to show you, I just, this whole reason I had my phone in my hand. Um, one thing I want to show you, as you probably saw in the video, I was bitten down here with my phone, taking a picture of this plant. I looked this plant up because it just has such a unique coloring. I was like, this has to be something. So I pulled out my phone, opened Google, um, and did a picture search of it. And it says it is a clematis. It's an unusual type, not a vining plant, um, but actually sprawling with a bushy habit. It quickly bursts up out of the ground in spring and the foliage has an unusual smoky purple shade fading to green by midsummer, which is exactly what this plant is doing. Um, the plant produces a good sp uh, display of fragrant little white star-shaped flowers in early summer and will require staking um, or the plant can be allowed to sprawl through an adjacent shrub. You prune it to the ground in the fall or early spring and it may be divided. Um, in spring, plants can take a, a season to recover. It makes an interesting cut flower. I thought that was super interesting because that was not here last year. Um, and we did not plant that. So it was just a very interesting find to pop up this season. I don't know if like the previous owners had planted it, if maybe a bird dropped a seed, what have you, but it's there and I think I'll keep it. I don't know that I'll keep it in that exact spot. I'll have to see what it looks like once it uh, continues to grow and flower. I might need to adjust it just a little bit. Um, but I'm really excited. Who doesn't love finding beautiful, unique cut flowers just randomly on their property? So, I'm excited. <laughs> My eyes are going in the backyard. Okay. Um, but I'm happy that we got all of the top dressing done. We figured out what that plant was, and that is super interesting. I need to make sure to not forget and text my husband about that. Um, before we go into the backyard with little Oliver, let's take a look at the in-ground bed because there's just beans popping up everywhere and they're getting true leaves and I'm just excited. So look, it's getting its true leaves and like all of the ones pretty much in this bed are getting them already. Uh, but we have a couple that I replanted because they didn't sprout that are now, I don't know if you can see that, but that tiny little green thing, that's it coming up. Uh, this one, I think I missed when I replanted the other day, so I may just leave it because of how close everything is right here. Um, I might just let it be because I did take an extra one that I had planted in here that actually came up and planted it off to the side. So I may just let it be. There's still 30 plants in here. Like this one's coming up. This one's coming up. This one's coming up, and this one's coming up, and that one, so. Basically all of them are up, uh, minus that one that I missed replanting. Um, but like I said, I have that extra one. So I still have 30 um, bush beans in this bed. So I'm happy with that. I might just let it be instead of trying to uh, squeeze one more in here. 
Last year, the bush bean was probably our most prolific producer. So that's why we ended up doing so many. I know we've mentioned that in a previous video, but if you're new here, that's why we have a patch of 30 bush beans centered with, uh, I'm gonna call them miniature sunflowers because they're just gonna be about 20 inches high. Anyways, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I'm not exactly sure how long it is, but I've got other errands to run. I may pop in a little bit of yard work that I do later uh, in here, but I hope you've had a good day with us and I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, be sure to hit that. Be sure to hit that like button and subscribe. Would you like to say it? Yeah. All right. Hit that like button and subscribe. Bye. Bubble, bubble. Like he said, like the video and subscribe and be sure you don't miss out on any other content. Have a great day. Have a great day.